Today we're off to France and the Pyrenees Mountains. A mountain is a little like a tall building, but you don't have the same species of animals living on every floor, or the same vegetation. The bird we'll see today needs vast prairies to spot its prey on the ground. So it's here at the top of the Pyrenees that we spot the griffin vulture. Uh, does that head remind you of anything? In the western movies, the bird wheeling in the sky over the cowboy with an arrow in his back? That's him. Sure, the vulture is always the bad guy. Maybe that's right. Just because they eat dead carcasses, it doesn't make them monsters. What's the cowboy want anyway? An animal that attacks him while he's alive or one that waits until he's dead to eat him? A vulture never attacks a living creature. Well, let's not get carried away. We're in the French Pyrenees, and there are not a lot of cowboys here. But there are lots of sheep. Griffin vultures act in groups. As soon as one of them spots a dead carcass on the ground, they all get into the act. Looks like there's a waiting line. First come, first serve. Well, it figures. Kind of confusing all the same. At mealtimes, they do get a little over-anxious. Anybody else hungry? But how do they manage to spot their prey from so high? Not by smell, that's for sure, because even with that nose, vultures can't smell a thing. No, his secret weapon is his eyesight. Like all birds of prey, it's three times better than ours. Maybe on the ground, he does walk a little bit like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Once he's in the air, he is unbeatable. He uses warm, rising thermal air currents to glide very high with all his pals. The second one of them sees a prey, they all dive. Vultures are so good at their job that when they finished, all that's left is a pile of shiny bones. This cleanup does lots of good things. First of all, it makes the mountain more beautiful. And especially, it takes care of all the microbes that a rotting carcass would produce. You could say that vultures are the garbage refuse collectors of the mountain. All that's missing are the green trucks. There's only one problem. Now there aren't so many flocks of sheep, and they're better cared for. So finding a dead one, well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning. Besides, the vultures' reputation's never been too good, and they were hunted almost to extinction. Today, they're protected, and that's good news for the mountain. Next time you're watching a Western, think of the vultures. After all, it's thanks to them that the cowboy rides through a clean countryside, even if he does have an arrow in his back.